Hello 3D enthusiasts, my name is Xenathon and today we're going to talk about chairs. Of course, not only chairs, uh, this is a video on how you can export props from Death Studio using the Diffeomorphic plugin and uh, not only import them into Blender but create a user library for the asset browser out of it. So. If you are using DAS for quite some time, in my case it's about 12 or 13 years, I think, you most probably have a collection of products you bought and you can see the, the products in the smart content, for example, environments. And if we go to architecture interior, there are quite some interior products in my case. But the nice thing is you can go to the files folder and um, there you can select props. And then you can search for something, for example, chair. And then you get a list of all props that are tagged with chair. This will not work in every case. Sometimes the tagging is bad and for some environments the props are not single objects so they will not appear here. Um, but if you have a collection of DES products you most probably will see one or the other chair here. You can search for other keywords of course for example lamp and you will get all the lamps in your DES library. But let's stick with chairs. What we will do now, first I will switch from iRay to mm, filament for ease of use and because it's quicker and then you can simply drag and drop wrong. You can double click on objects that you want in the viewport. Let's use some very simple chairs. This is a chair, obviously. And this is another chair. What we do now is uh, we take the second chair and move it aside a little. And then we look for in the, another chair. Oh, that's a, an, an ugly one. And we also move that aside a little. If I'm able to hit the arrow and we zoom out and we go to the next. I will only use very simple chairs in the, this case, you will see why later. And there's another one and so on. You organize this when you have five or six in a row, you can select them and then move them back a bit. And then you can continue to add chairs to your heart's liking. I already collected some of them and because it would take way too long to do this chair by chair now I will just open a scene with some basic chairs. No, I don't want to save. Okay, here we have two rows of chairs. That's not very spectacular, of course. But now we do save these as a scene, save as scene. And I will just create a new folder for this tutorial. And I will call this scene basic chairs. And we save it. We don't need simulation data. We don't need render settings. We don't need backdrop settings and we don't need backdrop color. So we deselect all these and click accept. Now it will save. That takes some time even if the rotating icon at the mouse pointer is gone. Death takes uh, way longer until it is able to react again. Here it is back and uh, we wait a little longer. Okay that's, that's it. And then we go to fire and export to Blender. You will have this menu item only if you install the Diffeomorphic plugin first. Um, I did a video on how to do that and I will link to the video in the description of this video. 
Okay, we export to Blender. We deselect default location because we want to choose where we save this. And then we click accept and we save this to the same location as our chairs scene. Basic chairs duff is the scene and we have to call this the same name in this case basic chairs dbz. And we also save this and this goes way faster as you can see. And that's it for their studio. Now we go to Blender. As you can see, I got already rid of the, the standard cube, um, but that is not there in my case anyway, because uh, I saved personal layout without that basic cube, because most of the time I really do not need it. And then we open the end panel by either clicking N on the keyboard or by pressing this little arrow on the top right. And then we go to this setup. This extension tab also will only be there if you install default DF diffeomorphic first. Then we can click at easy import des and then we go to the location where we just saved our scene and then we open it the duff this is the the des format we just double click it to open and diffeomorphic takes care of the rest. So here are our chairs. Um, they are shown at the moment with the basic texturing. If we switch to cycles render, you can see that looks really nice. And we now have a collection of chairs that you can use for architectural rendering or for kit bashing scenes and whatnot. Okay. Now we talk about the asset library in Blender. In my opinion, the implementation of the asset library could have been a little more user friendly. For example, just dragging and dropping objects from the view screen into the folders of the asset library. But it unfortunately does not work that way and it is a little more complicated. You have to go to preferences, file paths, and you see here is an entry called asset libraries. And under user library, you have to set a path to, to your user library somewhere on your hard disk or on a network attached storage or wherever. Um, in my case, you can see I have set a path here, Z, that's my NAS, 3D Blender Assets Xanathan. You have to set a folder here as of your liking where you want your, your assets to be. Uh, okay, so we have set up the user library and if I select now select user library in the asset library, you can see there are already some chairs there because I tested this beforehand. There are some co comfy, more complex chairs and there are a lot of science fiction chairs and those organized in folders, um, chairs, sci-fi chairs. And then there is a basic chairs folder and there's nothing, nothing in it so far. I created this for this tutorial and let's delete it. If you click the plus sign, you create a new catalog and then you can rename it with right click and rename it basic chairs. But there are no basic chairs in it. The first thing you do, you have this scene with the chairs, you save it to your asset library. That is the folder we just talked about. We save as. I go to my asset folder. There are old chairs blend and sci-fi chairs blend already in there. And uh, we will call this basic chairs and save it. Now we go to the outliner top right and select all the chairs. And then we right click and select mark as asset. Now all these chairs are marked as assets for the asset library. And if we click on unassigned, you will see all the chairs from the scene as single objects in the asset library, but under unassigned. And now we select them all in the asset library, and then we can drag and drop them into the folder 
basic chairs that we just created. Now they are no longer under unassigned, but if we click on basic chairs, you see our basic chairs from the scene. And if we click on chairs, you see chairs. And uh, if you click on all, you see all of them. And the nice thing is now that you can just simply drag and drop a chair into the scene. If we take one here, let's take this one and we drag and drop it here, it's in the scene. And it's as easy as that. After you were able to get these objects into the asset library. Okay, we will remove this again. To be safe, we file, we save our file again. The asset browser still is a little finicky sometimes, and you have to probably save multiple times to get this working. Uh, I hope they will. I I think they will improve this. And, and what what would really be nice would be the drag and drop drag and drop option from the scene to the asset library, but that's not possible, unfortunately, at the moment. So so now we create a new scene, new general scene. I will drag the timeline up and change the window to asset browser. And now when you select user library you see you have in your user library the chairs. And if we select basic chairs, you only see the chairs we just imported and uh, we created a user library from. Of course, that does not only work for chairs. This works for every prop. You can select multiple props in Desk Studio, for example, lamps, whatever you want. It's, you can do what you like with this. And um, you pull them all in the scene, you save the scene, you export it as a dbz file for diffeomorphic, and then you go to Blender and open the scene, set the assets you have in the scene for the asset library in the outliner, save it, reorganize it in the asset library, and that's it. That way you can create uh, multiple libraries of objects you then can kit bash into your scenes. And that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe if you want. And I see you next time. Bye.